welcome today we would be talking about one of the very important topics a newly added topic in the syllabus that is research ethics now when you are starting with any of the research you need to have certain basic fundamental understanding in mind and that is understanding the difference between first of all the two terms that is research ethics versus research integrity now when i say integrity what does it mean it talks about not only research ethical principles but also a kind of a broader outlook where you are talking about uh, planning you are talking about legal or a professional framework that is required so integrity we could say is a much wider perspective which has certain obligations standards that are included but when we talk about research ethics our main focus is on the principles the values that are required for your research so the major uh, ethical issues for conducting any research could be simply put up in the following four ways first of all the research you are doing on the subject that is there you have to respect the privacy so that is very important the second is the principle of beneficence that means you are not harming anything okay the any other any another person is not being harmed by your apps or by your research the third important thing is maintaining a anonymity so you have to make sure that the subject that you are using or that you are conducting the experiment on or you are taking the data in the type in the form of field survey or a questionnaire whatsoever it would be you are trying to maintain his anonymity and make sure that the information you are taking into account is kept confidential so confidentiality is a very very important thing and the next most important thing is you have to have a informed consent that means you need to inform the person that you are using this information for certain purpose and you need to take his consent for the same besides this we also talk about uh, honesty we talk about respect to the intellectual property a uh, non discrimination responsible publications that are there so these are some of the key issues that we focus under research ethics the next important thing is when we talk about research there are situations where there are misconduct of the research so research misconduct is one of the major challenges faced by research ethics what are these challenges in form of so this is in form of three things that we talk about the first is fabrication the second is falsification and the third is plagiarism now if i say there is a kind of honest mistake that i did or there are differences of the opinion among the people that's not a misconduct so be very very careful you have to identify a misconduct very differently it is not simply the honest mistakes that are done or varied opinion so that's not misconduct misconduct is something when you are moving away from the real ethical principles that are there and that could be in the form of plagiarism plagiarism means you are using other ideas or things in the work that you are trying to do now this plagiarism could be of various ways it could be self plagiarism where you are using your own content that you use somewhere else in another research there could be paraphrasing there could be mosaic that is you are taking a lot of material and you are just trying to compile it paraphrasing means you are trying to rephrase it uh, so those are all kind of plagiarisms and plagiarism is one of the research misconducts that we talk about uh, you have numerous softwares to detect the problem of plagiarism turn it in as one of those we have taken a separate lecture on that the next is fabrication fabrication means you want your thing to look in a certain fashion so you just make up okay so whatever the thing is you just make up to look something what you want it to be displayed as and that is fabrication however there is another term falsification which is different from fabrication where you try to bring in 
false results so you are manipulating whatever information that's going in in order to bring in the right result so you could omit certain information you could change the data you could manipulate the facts that are there remove certain information in order to prove something by hook and crook so that is what is falsification so if there is falsification in that research it's not a ethical research if there is fabrication it's not a ethical research and plagiarism of course as you know is not a ethical part of the research process so this is a very very conceptual topic very very basic topic before you begin your research or your phd so definitely we'll be coming up with many topics on research methodology stay subscribed have a wonderful day